The holiday shopping season is officially here and whether you go to the mall and shop or if you shop online, chances are you are purchasing gifts over the next few weeks. So we wanted to learn a little bit about your rights when it comes to returns, warranties and more. So we have attorney Justin Marcota with us. He's in for Dave Features this morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's, uh, it's a topic that uh, is always on point this time of year. Yes, 100%. And there are several people at the Eastwood Mall right now for Black Friday. Let's start with return policies, Justin. Are there laws when it comes to return policies or is it just up to the store? Commonly, there's not uh, just a blanket law on return policies. We're really accustomed to them in society now because it's it's just good business. Mm -hmm. If a customer is not satisfied with a product or a purchase, then you try and make it right or return it. Um, stores can set their own policies and requirements. And then we've all seen those disclaimers somewhere along the lines that say sales are final. Yeah. So typically in a retail setting, no, but they're accepted. Online's a little bit different. Ship dates are important. Mm. Online merchants, 30 days to ship the product after purchase. If they do not meet the 30 days, they have to notify you either over the phone or an email. They can't meet the ship date. And at that point, they have to offer you a full refund nice. or you have to consent to the extended time. So a okay. little difference there when you're online versus in the store. So when you're shopping online and maybe you receive a product damaged, how do you go about that? So a damaged product, we, we hear warranty and there's warranties that are written, yeah. called express warranties, and then there's also implied warranties. One of the most important ones is an implied warranty of merchantability, which means this thing's gonna do what the merchant tells you it's gonna do. So cars get a little confusing these days. I like to talk about a phone. Mm -hmm. If you buy a phone and it just can't make a call, the implied warranty means they'll have to replace it or fix it. Express warranties, if you use your phone as a coaster, and it breaks. <laughs> that wasn't what it was meant for. So True. little difference there. It's kind of hard to, to prove those things. So there's a huge gray area when it comes to, you know, that, right? Electronics, you'd yeah. be surprised when they plug it into a computer, the stuff that they can find out you did to it. Yeah. That you didn't even realize. But uh, there can be some gray area, and that all goes back to can the business take apart the law and the money to make uh, a good customer relationship. Got it. Now, when it comes to those receipts, we buy so much stuff and we just throw bags away. You try to go to the store to return something, you don't have a receipt. It, it helps to have yes. every bit of paper <laughs> yes. uh, to, to accomplish what you want from a legal perspective. Yes. Um, contracts don't always have to be in writing. Sale of goods, especially now as, as things get more expensive, still $500 or more, there's a contract there. So the receipt isn't always, you know, the end all be all of a yeah. return, but it certainly helps. Save everything. Yep. Yes. Thank you so much, Justin. Any final tips you want to leave us with, especially with all of, all of those shoppers at the Eastwood Mall yeah. right now? Uh, shopping online, I know is really important for everybody. If uh, things aren't going the way you intended, send the email, call customer service document your dispute. Perfect. Thank yep. you so much. And I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Same to you. Thank you. It is now time for the question of the day. Here's a look at today's question. If you know the answer to trivia, 